this is my favorite part of the car, so I'm just gonna chill out here for a bit. <laughs> Someone bring me a drink. Ready? Here we are. This is the moment. The Cento Dieci in real life. This is so exciting, you guys. What's up? Supercar Blondie here at Pebble Beach in California. Come with me. Should we start at the back? Because that's really where I'm just falling in love with this car. On the pictures, I didn't actually realize that they would be 3D. You see how they totally come out here? For me, these tail lights make this car. That's really, really beautiful. On the Chiron, the tail light kind of runs along the back of the body here, but it's attached to the body. And then on the Devo, you do have like this kind of 3D tail light element, but not to this level. Like this is quite extreme. You may realize that this looks somewhat like the EV110 that came out in the 90s, especially here, this design element here on the side. These air intakes, that's actually functional. It's not just as for design purposes. That's gonna feed straight into the engine and help cool that down. There's an EV110 right here. Just come and take a look at this. You see they have very similar design element here on the side. This is a W16 8 litre and it's actually going to have 100 more horsepower than the Chiron, so 1600 horsepower. They're not officially bringing out any 0 to 100 stats yet. We have heard around 2.4 seconds, but of course isn't actually yet in production, so they've still got to test all of that out. As soon as they have those official stats, I'm going to get those over to you guys. Why in the world have they brought the EB110 back? We're going to talk to Frank a little bit more about why they have chosen that era to bring back, and I think that's probably a good time right now to invite him in. Are you guys ready? Frank's ready. What's up, man? Nice to see you. Where is he? Up, Where is How he? are you? <laughs> nice to see you always. This is Frank, everyone. If you haven't seen him on Hello. my previous Bugatti videos, he is the head designer of exterior right. at Bugatti and the perfect person to talk to about why this looks the way it does. Where do we start? <laughs> I mean, the whole 110th anniversary, you were talking to me earlier about why you're bringing the 90s back. I love the 90s, by the way. 90s best, best decade best ever. Music ever. Best right? music yeah. ever. Best music ever. Yes, I totally agree with you. Early on in the year, this is the 110th anniversary of the company, so uh, we, we thought we'd use this year to reflect back onto our very colorful history. Actually, yeah. there's been many ups and downs in the company uh, history, and early on in the year in Geneva, uh, we had the Lava to Noir, which mm. paid homage to the actual original uh, Type 57 SC Atlantic, and we thought it's it's uh, also time now actually to to recognize and to, to actually look back at the 90s as well. This is a fantastic car. So you have to see, they had four turbochargers uh, in the 90s, uh, yeah. four wheel drive, broke a lot of records with this car. Right. It's an outstanding car. So this was like the superstar of the era, yeah. right? The EB110. Yeah. And so you guys wanted to kind of pay homage to that superstar element and bring it back. Should we have a look? You can see definitely with the three separate air intakes at the front and smaller horseshoe looks quite similar. This comes from a proportion. To us designers, proportion is the most important thing. How wide is the car? How wide is it? What are the overhangs? How, how big are the wheels? What the wheelbase? And what is the gesture? How is the volume actually? Yeah, okay. So, uh, and the volume of this is a wedge, basically. That's, that's a new thing for us. It's a wedge. It's a wedge. Forward facing forward leaping okay. wedge. It's okay. a wedge on wheels. Look, look at the EV110. Yeah. That is basically the typical 90s era yeah, Italian yeah, yeah, supercar. Yeah, yeah. Can you point out what you think is actually bringing the EV110 into the future with this car? Yeah, right. You have to get a good view of the profile of the car from yeah. the side. So you see these, these lines 
are sloping downwards. That's a first for us, actually. Oh, yeah. And uh, because usually on the Veyron, on the Chiron, yeah. also on the Divo, we have this kind of sovereign gesture in the car where it's kind of leaning back ah, a little bit. Okay. So here it's all leaping forward. Ah, right. And that's what connects the car also to, yeah. to the styling of the EB110. Right, because that line also goes forward. It goes okay. forward, yeah. Okay. Having said that, the body side of the EB110 is completely flat. The body yes. side of this has a lot of sculpture change right. between concave, convex, and if I may say so, the sexy muscle of the rear wheel arch, the yep. bulging wheel arches. Yep. To get this wedge, we had to lower the front. Okay. So usually on, on the Chiron, also on the Veyron, we have an upright horseshoe, yeah. and that makes the bonnet a bit higher. So here, we actually reduced the size of the horseshoe, yes. another citation to the EB110, to get the bonnet lower, okay. to actually start this wedge line off on a lower place. And this is also why the back is a little bit higher. Right. Usually, if you tell a designer, make the back higher, he'll say, oh no, let's not do that. We need to talk about this kind of C curve that Bugatti is known for. You see it really here on the Chiron, right? It's very curved. And then here on the Devo, it's also curved just a little bit smaller like this. But here now, Frank, you've got kind of, it's not curved at all. It's kind of squared off. That's right. We start off with the visor theme. So from the top edge of the windscreen, we run into the, the C line or the Bugatti line. Yeah. But it's, it's much more edgy and wedged angle right so it's a new interpretation of, of our Bugatti. Line. I feel lost though it's meant to be curved. <laughs> <laughs> well this is the beauty of, of actually being able to do all these coach bird projects. Yeah. Right? We have our main product which right. is the Chiron and from that as a base we can shoot into very specific other directions. Okay. Like with the with the Lava so Noir, next time right? with the Devo or yeah. with this car. So next time we're not even gonna see a C, we're gonna see like a T shape. And you'll be like, yeah it's cool guys, don't worry about <laughs> no, it. No we'll have to give up the C it'll be a C. <laughs> Actually when you mention mentioned that this is like a visor, it is. I d I didn't realise that before. So this you can't see through. This is a um, it's, a it's a structural element you yeah. need for rollover, for stability, so it's a blacked out A-pillar that connects yeah, that's visually really with the cool. screen and the Isn't side. It? Okay, we can't go without sussing out what's happening in the back because this is actually my favourite angle to look at the car and what is going on with these exhausts. That's right. We created so much more downforce in the front that we also needed to counterbalance the downforce on the rear. So we put the wing, but we also worked on the efficiency of the, of the diffuser. So normally on a, on a Chiron, yeah. the exhausts are in the middle. And those are kind of inspired by an F6 Lightning jet afterburner. So you have the, the two double barrel uh, nice. stacked up on top of each other. Can we have the afterburn effect though? Can we have them like light <laughs> Shall I turn them on? It's, yeah. it's remote. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That'd be so cool though, hey? Like LED lights around them, just so that we can kind of see them after burn. Anything else here that you wanted to point out? I mean, yeah. the lights, the 3D. So, so you see on, on, the, on the back of an EB110, yeah. there are these ventilation slots. And uh, it's a similar theme with these strips oh, of lights. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like the ventilation slots, uh, yeah. even though it's inverted, right? Right. Uh, and it's still functional because they actually stream through uh, to ventilate the engine bay. Obviously, you couldn't just bring these lights here in the front and pop them on something in 2019. This wouldn't work. <laughs> Those lights were already quite unusual in the 90s with them being so close together with having an actual air outlet. No, and There was nowhere to be seen in, the, in those right. times. So we made a headlight that is still very close together, right. but super slim and has an integrated air outlet. And uh, that air outlet actually relieves the pressure from uh, the wheel wells. So oh, that okay. actually creates downforce in oh. the front. The rims as well, um, Frank, you've got seven spoke here. You guys definitely wanted to get that element in the new car as well. Congratulations. It's all been sold. It's obviously uh, very loved in the market and um, there are details on it that I absolutely congratulate you for. They're so, so stunning. Um, I can't wait to see what's next. To be pointed out is uh, the baby of our boss, Mr. Mr. Ancher, our design director. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he did a lot of sketch work himself, but it's also never to be never to be uh, completed without a good team. Yeah. And I get to stand here, okay, but I represent our team. Of course, it's a and whole team. There, there's, a, there's a lot of talent in our team and I'm very, very, very honored to of be of course. Able to work you're together just the with these camera guys. talent. He's the TV talent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the TV face. Yeah, you're the TV. <laughs> this wing here, you couldn't it literally pop this on something in 2019 either, could you? <laughs> Imagine seeing this being brought back. It's like a table you could just eat off this, shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it makes it just, bizarre, yeah, it does. Your wing is completely different, obviously. That one could act still as a bar though, couldn't it? No. Shall we design some cup holders? Yeah, I, I actually. <laughs> Why is this not happened already? <laughs> Cup holders on the back incorporated into the wing. Now that's an idea, right? Frank, yeah. I want to see this on the next Pacing design. On that, right. Yeah, <laughs> that's our idea. You can't steal that, guys. This is my favorite part of the car, so I'm just going to chill out here for a bit. 
<laughs> Someone bring me a drink. Do it, do it. <laughs> yeah, we'll just sit here and chill out. All right, guys, I think that's it. Give us a quick thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. This is where you get to see the coolest cars in the world. Massive thanks to Frank. We'll see you on the next video, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. And for now, we're out. Love you. Bye.